Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to set up an N8N environment locally using Docker. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to access your environment and I'll go over a starter template which is using a RAG chatbot. So let's get started. I'll be following my article on opensourcehustle.com and I'll have the link to that article in the description. I've been having lots of fun using N8N. You can create workflows really fast using the drag and drop interface. You can create a chatbot in a couple of minutes and you can browse through the community workflows which has lots of pre-built workflows that are free to use. To run N8N locally, you need to install Docker Desktop. So whether you are on Windows, Mac or Linux, just visit the docker.com website and download Docker Desktop for your operating system. You'll also need to create an account. Docker Desktop is free to use for personal use. After installing Docker Desktop, have it running by opening the application. Next, we are going to create the compose.yaml file, which will allow us to create the N8N container. So go to your preferred directory. In my case, it is documents. I created a Docker directory. Here, I'm gonna make another directory called n8n I'm gonna enter it and I'm gonna create the compose.yaml file you don't necessarily need to use the CLI you could use just a text editor to do so inside the compose.yaml file I'm gonna copy the contents here and paste them in here we are describing the services we're gonna be running we're gonna have just a single container the n8n container which is getting the image from the official n8n.io website we're gonna name the container n8n which will make it easy for us to run various commands on our container such as stopping it restarting it destroying it next we have the ports the right side is the containers port while the left side is the host port we are keeping it the same but in case you are running multiple N8N containers, you would need to change the port on the left side. So the ports are not conflicting on the host machine. Next, we have the volume, which is a Docker created volume called N8N underscore data, which will store the data of our, our N8N container. This is necessary for the data to stay persistent. So in case we shut down our computer and we open it the next day, our workflows, credentials, and users are still available in our N8N container. Now I'm going to save the file and close it, and I'm going to run the container using docker compose up and the d flag for the command to run in the background make sure that when you are running this command you are in the same directory where the compose.yaml file is located after running the compose.yaml file we can see in docker desktop that our container was created if we check the volume section we can see that the volume was created and if we click on it we can see that it contains n8 and data let's go back to containers if we click on the ports we can access the application or you can manually access it by writing localhost with the port 5 six seven eight here you start with the setup write your email your name and password click next go over the questionnaire if you'd like here you will be asked for your email if you provide it they will send you a free activation key once you receive your key go to the bottom left side go to settings enter activation key and put your key here and activate it and that's it now we have a running n8n environment locally if you go to the plus icon over here we can create workflows one of the cool workflows that you could start with is the rag starter template so click on the plus icon or tab and type rag starter template click on it and this creates the basic rag starter workflow the only thing needed here to make it work is open ai key so click on the open ai chat model select credential create new credential and provide your api key so here is my api key i'm gonna save it next click on the embedding module and make sure that the same api key is used here as well save this and now let's execute the workflow so here we can upload a file which the ai model will use to answer our questions so for example i'm gonna upload a car manual and i'm gonna submit i'm gonna close the pop-up and we can see that the embedding node is working and the data was stored as vectors so now we can open the chat and chat with the ai agent so let's open the car manual that i have just uploaded side by side and let's ask it something in that manual so for example right now in page 108 it's talking about couple holders so let's ask it about that does the jaguar contain cup holders and on which page does the manual mention the cup holders so here it's saying yes the jaguar does contain cup holders the manual mentions that the center console has two cup holders it mentions that on page 108 which is correct so as you can see just like that you have already created a rag chatbot that is able to answer based on the document that was provided so that's it for this tutorial i'm really excited about working with n8n 
I'll have more tutorials on it, including hosting the chatbots, embedding them on your website, and creating a rag chatbot based on your website's content. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.